Smart cities are developing at breakneck speed. As one leading expert told me at the Gulf Information Technology Exhibition in Dubai, they're becoming like the body of an artificially intelligent mind. To make a smart city that's really smart, rather than just being called smart, you need your car traffic analytics, you need medical analysis on people, you, you need a smart power grid, a model of everything happening in the city. You need to integrate all these systems together into a whole, so then the city almost becomes like the body of an AI. Now we're seeing the build out of specific subsystems of cities in smart ways. And I think over the next few years, you're gonna see these subsystems connected together until you get really an integrated mind for the whole city. And here in Dubai, there's one single app on which apparently you can do almost anything. I've come to an exhibition by Smart Dubai to find out more. We have an application called Dubai Now with the aim to put all government services under one umbrella so we have over 88 services uh, currently in Dubai now, all from one single application. If you want to drive a car in Dubai, you need first to have a driving license. The lessons are provided by private sector, but the license is provided by government. To own a car, you will buy a car from a dealer, but to register it is with a government entity. To finance it, you need to go to a bank uh, sector. To ensure it, you need to go to insurance sectors. You can do them all from one platform, which is called Dubai Now. What we are now doing is expanding our view and also including the private sector in the digitization of services. You can sign contracts selling uh, properties, owning properties on top of this, and these uh, digital signatures are already recognized by the legislative uh, agencies in our city. The Dubai Now app recently reached one million downloads. I asked some users about their experience of it. It's a really good app to have all these applications come into one place where you can actually see everything, whether it's from Dubai courts, to your immigration, to your DIWA bills, to your fines, to your parking. So for us, it's very easy to, to use. Uh, we can use it from home, from the office. I launch it. I use my dashboard because I can see everything on here, which is payments related to fines or electrical bills. If you go to driving, it will tell you the nearest parking to you. These are all your cars. You could see what you have that needs to be renewed or if there's a fine on it. So this is basically why I like to buy now. And it's all this integration of all these applications into one. I use it to pay all my bills and utilities. It saves me receiving email notifications and, or paper to pay my bills, and I can pay the whole month's worth of bills in about 30 seconds. But who has access to all this data, and how is it protected? We put a full-fledged establishment around governing data, putting ethics and principles around the utilization of such data, keeping uh, at the center of this mechanism the privacy and security of uh, the individuals in our uh, city. While apps like this could soon spell the end of bureaucracy as we know it, and eliminate paper use, the cornerstone of any smart city is the efficient regulation of its power supply and that means smart power grids. When you build a grid infrastructure, you have to build it to your peak demand. And peak demands can be a factor of five larger than you know, the base load or um, some of the other load levels during the rest of the day. And when you start to build infrastructure that's five times as complex and as robust as it needs to be for most of the day, uh, there's a lot of waste that goes into that. Smart grids are a key component of the Dubai Electricity and Water Authority's strategy to make the Emirate the smartest city in the world. 1.7 billion euros is being invested in them. The local authority has reduced losses from electricity transmission and distribution networks to just 3.3%. Thousands of customers have already installed solar panels in their homes with a total capacity of around 106 megawatts. These are connected to the power grid and any surplus electricity generated goes towards cutting bills. The technology is, is going to be incredible. We need to roll out with a decentralized control system because a safeguard that involves a small elite safeguarding everyone else has some well-known failure modes associated with it. As these technologies link up, our cities look set to get truly smart, but how we protect private data needed to drive them must be equally smart.